All right, this is one straw Rob talking about his new rotary trommel. We're currently using it to sift municipal compost out at our energy farm. Uh, farm owner Mike is currently sifting the compost in. Uh, the fine compost, sifted compost, that will be used in a suburban garden is being sorted into the first wheelbarrow. The clumps of wood and stone and plastic and undigested leaves are falling out into this wheelbarrow here. We get the compost for free from our city. They're currently out of space. It is a nice way to benefit them. It saves them from having to purchase additional land and we're able to store it here on the property. This is a double truckload, 20 or 30 yards of compost. We have about four stacks this big on the farm that we use to spread on our own fields for growing crops. Uh, we also use it to help suburban permaculturalists and suburban gardens get going. Here you can see here's our uh, portable power system. We have a 15 watt solar cell uh, that slowly charges the battery. Uh, we just have a marine deep cycle battery and then we have a huge power inverter. It's a 1200 watt power inverter that is currently running the quarter horsepower electric motor over there. Um, now from a dead empty charge it would take about 20 days for that solar cell to charge it up. Um, but we never run it empty and we only use the trommel one or two times a month so we are able to sift our compost off grid which is pretty slick. Trommels are dead useful. Not only can we use it in this instance to sift compost for garden usage or for making a really nice potting mix, um, you can also use it to sift out wood chips. So the fines will come through and fall out the bottom just like the compost is here. Those fines would make a fantastic worm bedding for uh, vermicomposting. They could also be used uh, as a peat moss substitute in a potting mix. Speaking of worm composting, uh, after your worms are done chewing on uh, and turning into castings, you can put the worm castings completely into the trommel. The sifted castings will fall out through the bottom and then the worms will fall out into the end. Uh, and that way you save the expense and hassle of having to sift out your worms. It works pretty slick. So there you go. Thanks for uh, taking the two, three minutes to go through the rotary trommel with one straw rob. Have a great day, everyone.